Hey guys, so today I've been doing uh, more of the RuneScape 2007 servers and I thought I'd just give you a small update on my uh, third day. So today basically I've been up to uh, a couple of things. So the first thing I was doing today was I was I was I uh, bought a bunch of battle stuffs. Uh, these are basically so I can uh, have free free uh, runes uh, in the specific uh, element. So for example, I have the fire battle stuff right here, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty good. Um, so basically today my plan was to get rune crafting and magic uh, to a high level. So um, in the previous video I was level one magic. And now I have level 39 magic. Now how how I did this was I uh, basically uh, I used um, what's it called? I used wind strike until I was level 13, uh, and basically I did this at uh, there's like a place underneath Varok. It's a uh, it's like a sewage a sewage kind of system, and uh, there's a place where you can um, safely. Um, mage like zombie kind of things uh, across a river so well like a like a water area so yeah I did that until I was level 13 once I was level 13 I, I have the ability to unlock fire strike now the difference between wind strike and fire strike is like a uh, wind strike can hit like twos and fire strike can hit eights so it's quite a big difference and also the XP difference is quite high uh, the wind strike has a base value or XP of five, and um, it it increases by two for every hit you do. So, for example, if you hit a two, uh, then you're going to get a total of uh, nine experience because you get a five base and two uh, for every hit. So, yeah, uh, but the difference between that and this is a fire strike gives a base value of eleven XP. And for every hit, uh, you get 2 XP as well. So you can get pretty much 16, you can pretty much get 27 experience just for doing uh, this attack over this attack. So it's, yeah, it's pretty good. I uh, highly suggest uh, getting Fire Strike. And uh, also I'd suggest getting a Fire uh, Bath Stuff or Fire uh, Stuff of Fire uh, that because... Um, it basically takes three runes to cast a spell. So yeah, it's probably the cheapest way to do it. Uh, and the most effective way. Anyway. So yeah, I did... Um, once I got to level 13. I basically uh, went back to the place where you do the waterfall quest. And basically inside there you get these things uh, called fire giants. And uh, fire giants, they the reason I was killing them was firstly because... Um, uh, you can you hit do hit very often with magic on them, so it's very good training XP, and also the reason I train on fire giants is because they drop very good items. They drop rune scimitars, rune two-handed weapons. Uh, they drop, I think they drop rune kite shield, um, and other really good items. I actually got a chaos uh, talisman from that. Also got a couple of rune arrow drops. Uh, but unfortunately I didn't really get any uh, rune skimmies or rune two handed yet. Uh, so I'm going to be working on that um, more later. Um, so once I ran out of runes basically I went back to do rune crafting. And uh, to be able to do rune crafting I had to do mining. So I mined uh, 3k uh, pure essence. And uh, yeah, so I I now have a 3k uh, rune essence or pure essence in the bank, uh, ready to be rune crafted. Uh, however, I decided that I wanted to do some quests before I did that. So I've decided to uh, do a bunch of easy quests, just to get a few levels up before, before I start doing rune crafting again. Uh, because I want to get to level 33 so I can make um, quadruple air runes. Um, yeah. And um, also I want to go and uh, make some chaos runes as well so I can do some better spells. Uh, the only problem I have with chaos, uh, the chaos altar, is that uh, the you pretty much need to go through the abyss. Or otherwise you're going to have to uh, do like a maze in the chaos altar which is really annoying. I might avoid it altogether and not do chaos runes at all, uh, but I haven't really decided yet. Um, so yeah, 
Um, what else? Uh, what else have I done? Mm, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm, um, so yeah, what I'm doing right now is I'm just about to start the, uh, what's it called, Tree Gnome Village. And, uh, that should be fun, I guess. Um, yeah, so I just have to help, like, King Boron or something like that. Uh, what other quests have I done? Okay, I've done the Restless Ghost. I, I did all these quests pretty much today, apart from the Rune Mysteries, which I did the other day. Um... So yeah, a restless ghost. I did that today. That was pretty easy. Uh, you just have to return a, a skull to a ghost so he can rest in peace. And I killed a vampire uh, in the vampire slayer. Uh, that was kind of uh, easy as well. Just had to go uh, to. The... I had to do a lot of traveling. That was the only problem. Had to basically go to uh, Varrock and talk to a guy. Uh, he gave me a stake and a hammer and. Uh, once I got that, then I just went to the vampire place in Draenor, and uh, yeah, killed the vampire. Very, it's very easy actually. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to be for uh, very very low levels, but uh, these are my stats, so you can kind of see. I was using magic. Uh, it it pr pretty much took like a five hit, uh, so I can hit up to eight eight damage, and yeah, so I pretty much five hits uh, the vampire. And then you just basically use the stake on him and then it kills him. So it's very easy. Uh, what else have I done? I started Death Plateau, but I needed a um, a special kind of drink. And uh, so, yeah, so so basically just before I did this video, I went to the tree name, tree name, uh, what's it called? Tree name, like the, uh, the big tree, whatever it's called. Uh, and basically it sells you the blueberry um, thing that you need, blueberry drink. So I've got that now and I, I can probably do Death Plateau in the future. Um, Elemental Workshop. Now the thing about Elemental Workshop is that uh, they have element elemental uh, like monsters in there. And uh, they have one for each element. So they have air, earth, water and fire. Uh, so these are monsters, and the good thing about them is that they drop um, things like talismans. Uh, so they're very good uh, if you want to get some talismans. Um, so yeah, I got... I haven't actually done it in a while, but I did it the other day. And that's the reason I started Elemental Workshop. Also, uh, I'm thinking of uh, building up my smithing in there. Because um, you only need level eight, 8 smithing to be able to... Um, to be able to smith, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but I think it's like blue rit or or something like that, and it's very easy to do, and um, I think I might do that. So, yeah, I'd rather do that than do something like iron. I do have to get eight levels with um, uh, with bronze. However, hopefully, I can get it with some of these quests that I'm going to be doing in the next uh, couple of days. So, hopefully, I don't have to. I do bronze, but if I do, then yeah, I'll do that before I do elemental workshop. The Grand Tree, um, I accidentally started that. I thought I, w I had to talk to the king in the tree, uh, the Grand Tree, but it turns out I have to speak to this guy right here in the tree in the village. So yeah, I accidentally started that, but I'll probably do it in the future anyway. Um, waterfall quest, yeah, I did that the other day. Uh, so that's pretty much it guys, um, my plan is to make a bunch of runes in the future, finish a bunch of quests and um, yeah, try and get my magic level up to a reasonable level. Uh, the plan is to get at least the ability to go to Camelot because uh, I want to be on the other side of the waterfall. Also I really want to get high, high level alchemy so when I start doing Slayer I can start um, by alking the rewards, uh, the the drops. So, yeah, that's pretty much the plan, guys. I uh, just want to give you a quick update. Um, so, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.